Mommy, I'm so excited to tell you what I learned in school today. What did you learn, Sarla? If someone goes deep in the ground, he can find coal. Just like the coal we used for our barbecue this summer, the coal can give um, them heat and light. But how do they know where to go and how to get the coal? There, went, there is an expert. He is very smart and he shows the workers where the coal is and how to take it out of the ground. But it's very important that the coal miner is always wearing his ox oxygen tank so that he can breathe and he also has to make sure he is using it the right way. No one can do that for him. That's so interesting, Sarla. Oh. We also learned that it's the same thing with the person who goes deep in the ocean to find beautiful pearls. He is called a deep sea diver. He has, he has someone to direct him, but he too needs to wear an oxygen tank and make sure he is breathing, breathing all the way through. There is no one that can breathe for him, and he can't say, take a break from breathing. <laughs> you always have to be breathing. This is all very interesting, Sarah, but why did the teacher tell you this? It's from a sikh of the rabbi. The Friedrich Rebbe gave these examples to teach us them an important lesson. The Rebbe is like the guide. Chassidus is like the coal that keeps our neshama warm and lit up in the dark galas. But it's up to us to make sure we breathe properly. It's up to us to actually learn the Chassidus the Rebbe teaches us. The mitzvah is like a Chassid should. The Rebbe adds that in the times of the Friedrich Rebbe, it was enough just to talk about the coal example because it was so far from Geula. It was like a person who is in his house. All he needs is regular clothing and to stay warm. But now, the Rebbe explains, when it's right before Mashiach comes, it's like we are getting ready to greet the king. It's like we are going to a grand wedding with Hashem and the Yidin. That's why the Rebbe explains that we have to put on our most precious jewels. Each time we learn chassidus and act like a chassid, we are adding a pearl to our precious necklace. And I want my necklace to be full of pearls to greet Mashiach. Soa, uh, thank you for teaching me so much. Now let's say Shema and go to sleep. Shema Yisrael. Make a laugh, make a right up the stairs and around. Okay, another way. So you go right to the left and around and up the stairs. And then you open the door to the right. Oh.
וקיים שחזרת בי נשמסי וחמלה רבה אמרין הסחר. weird dream, but now I really get what my mama meant. The rabbi is my guide. He gave me instructions. I can be like the girl who knows the directions from, um, but just sits on the couch. Or I can be like the girls who don't listen to the, um, to the directions. They know what the directions say, but they go their own way and end up getting lost. Okay. I know! I went I want to be like the girl who read the directions and followed them. I will learn what the rabbi says to do and I will follow his instructions. I want to bring Mashiach. I am going to follow the rabbi's instructions. I will do as, my, as many mitzvahs as I can the way the rabbi wants me to. I will add a new pearl each time and when Mashiach will be revealed, I will be ready with my beauty necklace of pearl mitzvahs. Beis Rifka. We want to be just like Sarala. We too want to do the right thing and greet Mashiach with a necklace filled with mitzvah pearls. That's why, here in Beis Rivka, we will be having a special contest. Later today, or tomorrow, your teacher will be giving you a special treasure box to decorate. That box will go home with you, and you will keep it in a safe place. From today until Yud Shvat, every time you do a mitzvah the way a chassidista should, go get a paper... Write down what special mitzvah you did, and also write your whole name in Hebrew. Your whole name means your name, then you write bas, which means daughter, then your mommy's name, and your last name. You can have your mommy help you. Then, put the paper in your treasure chest that you are keeping in a safe place at home. On Yud Shvat, the day our Rebbe became our Rebbe, you will bring in your treasure chest and empty all your notes into a big treasure box that will be in the office. There will be one box for Kita Aleph, one for Kita Bays, and one for Kita Gimel. Each one of those papers will be like a raffle ticket. We will make a raffle. The winner will, will receive a real pearl necklace. And all those notes will then be brought to the Rebbe and Friedrich Rebbe and given to them as a present. We will be telling the Rebbe and showing the Rebbe how we are trying so hard to be ready for Mashiach, all dressed in our pearl mitzvah necklace.